Hi, today I have another video about the probability and genetics. And today's problem is, if parents want to have five children, what is the probability for them to have two girls and three boys in any order? And if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is my explanation. And before I will explain how to solve this problem, I want to show you a uh, much easier example. Uh, what are the chances to have two girls and three boys in specific order? This is would be very easy. So uh, our problem uh, is in any order. And if uh, order given, this would be much easier and fast. So I want you to understand the difference. And uh, so, uh, for example, uh, any order can be. So let's take, for example, what is the chances for the first child to be a girl? And uh, this is very easy. The chances is one half. So girl would have one half chances to be the first child. And what are the chances that uh, the second child would be also a girl? And once again, uh, the chances is one half. And what are the chances that third child would be a boy? And once again, chances would be one half. Because this is only two possibilities. Uh, each new child can be whether a boy and a girl and chances are equal. So what is the chances that the first child would be boy? And once again, chances would be one half. And what is the chances that the last child would be a boy? And once again, chances would be one half. So uh, what is the chances to have such combination? And this is very easy to predict. Uh, we just have to multiply all these um, independent chances, all these independent events. And the answer would be uh, the chances is 1 over 32. So one chance out of uh, 32 uh, different possibilities. And now let me explain how to solve uh, the problem if uh, we told that uh, there can be any order. So not given order like in this example, by the way, uh, the order can be different, but even uh, if uh, order would be different, for example, a second girl can be the fourth child or the fifth child in, in this family, the answer would be the same. So if uh, answer in any order, uh, the answer, uh, we are going to solve this problem using different method. And um, I want to show you two methods. One would be uh, just using common sense and using logic. And another one would be very fast method using factorials. So uh, first method would be uh, just uh, to write down all the possible combinations. For example, uh, how many ways we can have two girls and three boys. And uh, the first way would be when we have girl, girl, and then we would have, um, for example, boy, boy and boy. So as you see, five children in the family. So let's uh, move uh, these girls together. So uh, the second variant would be boy, then girl, girl, and boy, and boy. So once again, five children. And the next uh, variant would be boy, boy, and girl, girl, and once again, boy. 
and uh, next variant would be boy boy uh, once again boy and girl girl so as you see there is four possible variants when we move uh, two girls together and um, let's uh, think about variant when between uh, uh, girls there is a boy and uh, so there is combinations also possible so can be girl then boy girl and boy and boy so once again we have um, five combinations another combinations can be boy girl boy girl and boy and yet another combination can be boy boy girl boy and girl so as you see there would be three combinations possible when we have one boy between uh, two girls and another variant would be when we have two boys between two girls so how many uh, such variants let's see we may have girl boy boy girl and boy another variant would be boy girl boy boy and once again girl so as you see only two variants possible and the last variant would be when we have three boys between two girls so we would have girl and boy 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 and a girl so as you see uh, we have four variants here plus three variants here so seven plus two variants here nine plus one ten so we have ten variants how family of five children may have uh, so ten variants How family may have five children with two girls and three uh, boys in any order. So ten variants exist. And uh, as you see in this example here, uh, there are 32 combinations possible. So we may uh, also count these possibilities as uh, uh, two two combinations possible if for example family have one child so it can be whether girl or boy so two variants right and if family would have the second child once again two variants possible boy and girl and so each time if family have five children this is how many different combinations exist so uh, this would be just two uh, multiplied by itself five times so uh, this is going to be 32 combinations and now we find that uh, 10 combinations possible to have uh, two girls and uh, three boys so this would be uh, 10 over 32 or we can also simplify it as uh, reduce uh, uh, so the answer would be 5 over 16 and this is a variant when I use the, just the common sense and logic this takes a time and of course uh, if the question would be about the family of 6, 7 or 8 children this would become much more complicated and time consuming so I want also you to show how to solve this problem using factorials. And uh, factorial is uh, just a number. Uh, for example, uh, if we have 5, uh, this means 
so this would be factorial, this exclamation mark means uh, factorial. And this would be the same as uh, 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 by 2 and by 1. And for example, uh, factorial 3 would be 3 multiplied by 2 and by 1. And factorial 2 would be 2 multiplied by 1. So this is what factorial is. So if you would see exclamation mark in any formulas, uh, you just know that uh, you just have to multiply this uh, number by itself, uh, reducing it by 1 with each step. So this is very easy and simple. And a formula in, uh, for this uh, particular um, problem would be we have to put five children on top divided by uh, two girls and three boys. So uh, we would have here 5 multiplied by 4 by 3 by 2 and by 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 and 3 multiplied by 2 and by 1. So as you see uh, we can uh, cross out these common numbers and uh, we also can uh, cross out 2 and reduce this 4 by 2 so here would be 2 and we can cross out 1 because any number divided by 1 would be the same number so uh, what we left here is only 5 and 2 so we have to multiply 5 by 2 so the answer here would be 10 uh, the same uh, number as we have here, but we uh, uh, it's it took much longer for us to figure out how many variants possible here and uh, see how fast uh, this uh, if we use this formula and uh, we have five uh, children total and we have two girls and three boys and uh, there are different variants possible if uh, there would be more children like seven or eight uh, we just uh, change the numbers but anyway uh, uh, this way of solving a problem using factorials is much easier and faster so uh, the results would be the same uh, as when we use this method. So once again we can uh, put this 10 here reduce and multi uh, divide by 32 variants so uh, the answer would be 5 divided by 16. So this would be answer for our problem. Thank you for attention. This is all for today. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.